the US election is just around the corner and I thought it would be really fun to do a quick like a four day unit study as we lead up into election day. So hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm a mom to four. I love to homeschool. I love to read good books and I love to share both of those things on this channel. So if you also love those things, please consider subscribing. Today's video, I plan on sharing the election unit study I have put together for my kids. And again, they are five years old and six years old. I have twin toddlers as well, but I didn't really do too much for them for this unit study. So when I'm planning unit studies, the first thing I do is I just organize myself. And so I do things like I set out how many days I am planning on doing things. I start brainstorming different ideas for books and documentaries and crafts or, or different things like that. And then I line it out on a plan. And so the plan is what I'm going to share with you today is this is only a four day unit study. So for those four days, I'm not planning on doing morning time or afternoon time, which if you want more information about how I normally schedule my day, I'll put our schedule up above, but I'm canceling kind of those two things in light of keeping math, handwriting, phonics, plus this election unit study. So that will give us more time to do these fun things, to do more of these crafty kind of things. So the plan is the first three days we're doing a decent amount of reading and crafting and the fourth day will be election day. And so I have that day all marked off for election unit study stuff. Let me start with the books. The spine I'm using is What's the Big Deal About Elections by Ruby Shamar and Matt Faulkner. So we'll plan on using this one as well as this book, which I'm waiting for at the library. It should be in any day, but it looks really, really cute. It's called If I Were President, and it just looks like a super fun picture book. So we're definitely incorporating that. And then I'm thinking of doing a poetry tea time on election day. And so I picked up this book. It's the National Geographic, the poetry of us or US, I'm not sure. It's more than 200 poems that celebrate people, places, and passions of the United States. I thought it would be a perfect book to do a little themed poetry tea time. To kick off our first day, I decided to do a documentary. So I found this one. I will link it below. It's called Voting for Kids. It's just a quick documentary and it's very child appropriate. I think it'll be a great intro for why we're talking about these sorts of things. The next thing we're going to do is read out of the spine book, the next chunk of pages that I planned out as well as they can do some coloring. So I found this really cute elections 2020 teachers pay teachers bundle and I will link it all below because I'm definitely using a lot of her resources and so these are just copy work pages in the White House so they can color this while we're talking and then I'll have like a short sentence for my son to copy out and that'll just be the first day and then the second day we're planning kind of the same thing I'm gonna read out this fine book they're gonna have a different sheet for coloring and I just have to show you these really cute cartoons so that's Biden and Trump super fun and then copy work coloring and then the craft for that day is something i kind of wanted to include my twins with and so i'll link this below again this is just off of my planning sheet it's like a do a dot uh, american flag sort of craft super straightforward super easy i'll link it below just to give credit to that blogger but it looks really fun so we're going to do that craft that day third day a little bit of the same read out of the spine color copy work and craft. This craft, what we're going to do is we're going to make ballot boxes. So that's a picture. Again, I will put a link below. We're going to make the ballot boxes because we're planning on using them on election day, which I'll get to now. So the last day is day four, election day. So I have the whole day planned to really immerse them in election day stuff. First thing we're going to do is we live in Colorado and so we can do drop off ballots. So there's many sites in the city. And so my plan is we're going to load everybody up in the car including my husband, and we're gonna drop off our ballots um, just for them to see us voting and caring about stuff like this. So we're gonna do that first, probably get donuts and Starbucks or something on our way back. And then we'll jump into reading a little bit. This is where I wanna do that cute picture book. If I were president, I thought this would be a good morning for that. And then we have lots of fun activities. Again, off of that Teachers Pay Teachers bundle. And I forgot to mention this, but our plans for election day are actually to include our neighbors because they do a little bit of homeschooling as well. And so I invited her over and we're gonna do some pretend elections, pretend ballots, use those ballot boxes we made. And we're gonna do a snack ballot, which I have them printed off. So we'll have some crackers, fruit and cookies, and we're gonna let everybody vote, even the toddlers. It'll be really fun. They can all vote on their ballots. I'll probably vote as well. And they can fill out these things, which are voter, 
registration applications. Things are really cute. Like it says, do you work hard in school? Yes or no? Are you kind to others? Yes or no? If so, then you can register to vote. These will be really cute. They can color them, cut them out. And then once they vote, we're gonna have them color the I voted stickers and we're gonna make little necklaces out of them. So they can really participate and feel what it feels like to vote and do fun things like that. And so I'm really jazzed that we can do it kind of as a group. So that's kind of our morning time with neighbors, voting, things like that. And then my plan is afternoon, which is usually when we do poetry tea time. And that's when we're gonna bust out the poetry, the US poetry, as well as a special red, white, and blue snack. I got this idea out of the Berenstain Bears cookbook, which clearly my kids want to make lots of recipes, but we are gonna make this one. The Freedom Trifle, I think it is. It looks delicious, super fun, and they are jazz. So we're gonna make that, read some poetry, and then wait for the election stuff to start. So I also plan on having my big kids watch the election results as they come in. So of course I found a printable for that as well. And so it's this one, it says how we voted. And the idea is that they get to color in red and blue states as they get called red or blue. And disregard the key over here that says Obama. I will cover that up and put the right ones. This is from 2012, but it doesn't really matter. The idea is the same, is they get to color as the map starts to change colors, as long as they're still awake. Maybe they'll step a little later on election night. We'll see if they're interested. But anyway, that's my plan for watching the election results as a family. I'm just really excited. I think it'll be a fun exposure, especially to a six-year-old and five-year-old where this won't come around for another four years, but this is kind of their first exposure to elections, what it means, how it works. And so I'm, I'm pretty jazzed. So if you are in the U.S., Please share what your plans are for elections. Do you plan on doing something special? Do you have any special books, activities, crafts, anything like that? Please share below. I would love to hear what you're doing. And yeah, that is what I have for this video. Thank you for stopping by. Please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel if you aren't already subscribed. And I will see you in the next homeschooling video. All right, have a wonderful day. Take care.